Okay, let's take a look at how to build an ogive graph. Now we got our class boundaries. Notice how this uh, is 235.5 and um, goes to 260.5. So the lower and the upper class boundaries, and then our cumulative frequency of 4. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line segment for this first, uh, first line. Now, come over here. And I'll choose, uh, click this, and then that opens up, and click this for the line segment. And just click somewhere and click somewhere else. doesn't matter where. Over here in the graph layers, we're going to expand segment 1. And this is where we want to type this in. Now, specifically, this is starting at 235.5. And to begin with, the frequency is, or the cumulative frequency is 0. So I'm putting in 235.5. And zero. Now this ends at 260.5 and has cubic frequency of four. So I'm going to put in 260.5 260 and four. So 260.5 and four. Okay, so that's our first line segment. Again, the beginning point is 235.5, our lower class boundary is always zero. And then the ending for that line segment is the 260.5 and four. Now I'm gonna do the next line. So I'm gonna come over here and choose that and then choose line segment here and just click somewhere and click somewhere else. Doesn't matter where. Because we're gonna come over here and we're gonna type in the numbers exactly. Now in our second line, the lower class boundary is 260.5. Um, so I'm going to put 260.5, and then you go with the frequency from the previous line. So that's our starting. So 260.5, and the previous one is 4. And see how this, this starts with that one left off. And then for our second point, That'll be our um, the upper class boundary here, 285.5, and then cumulative frequency of 13. So 285.5 and 13. Now I'm going to do another line segment. And again, click two places, doesn't matter where, expand that. And now I'm on the third line here. The lower class boundary is 285.5, and it'll go with the frequency from the previous line, which is 13. So 285.5, 13. And the second point, the upper class boundary in the third line here is 310.5, and the, up, the cumulative frequency is 38. So... 310.5 and um, 38. Assuming my eyes don't get off on this, um, we'll get the correct graph. Again, another line segment, expand that. Now we're looking at the fourth line. Fourth line, the lower class boundary is 310.5, so I, I use that, and then the previous frequency, which is 38. So 310.5, 38. And then um, the upper class boundary is 335.5 and uh, 54. So 335.5 and 54. And then do another line segment, click somewhere, click somewhere else. And my lower class boundary in this last line is 335.5, and it goes to the previous cumulative frequency, which is 54. So expand this, 335.5 and um, 54. Ah, 54, 335.5. And then my upper class boundary is 360.5 and cumulative frequency of 57. 
So 360.5, 360.5, and 57. So assuming my eyes didn't get off on uh, typing in any of those numbers, uh, that would give you your O drive graph.